Right, I've just finished looking at a Cobra and a uh, Mizuno 5 wood. So hopefully you've seen that video. And the question I asked of it was, uh, why are we choosing? To, I, I suppose always the same questions that I try to ask on this channel is, are there options to make the game a little bit easier in terms of the 5 wood? The, the question was, carrying kind of like, I don't know, 225 on average and saying, well, you know, are there, is that a great choice to be playing off the tee for most average golfers? And the answer is probably yes. So we've gone a little bit further and we've gone into the three wood stakes now and I'm going to look at uh, the, the TaylorMade Sim Max product. So it's a Sim 2 Max product and again uh, Callaway's uh, option which is the Epic Max. Um, they're both aimed at the same type of golfer and that's a little bit of um, draw bias in terms of its weighting but also very much help and assistance with uh, launching the ball and getting it airborne but they're not losing out in terms of ball speed. So that's what we're gonna to put to the test. And again, asking that question is, uh, are these realistically driver replacements for most average golfers out there? Now, this is very much a head to head. And uh, in terms of one of the things you will consider if you've got these two on the list is visuals and uh, they're very, very different. That's why I've pitched them up against one another. Uh, that sort of, I always call it a sort of motorsport crown, that checkered flag that you see on the sim is I think really good at addressing that uh, pale gray line nice and easy to sort of uh, frame the ball presents the club very nice at address very much different on the epic that high gloss finish again and we've seen it time and time again there's nothing new in either of these two models that we haven't seen in previous models um, so that is very much a personal preference and again even at address i would say that the epic max is, a, is sort of it's almost like squashed down and stretched out elongated whereas the uh, the sim max product is a more traditional sort of teardrop shape so once again already two very very different looks at a dress that you must decide which is more suitable on your eye right so in today's video we're going to be at uh, the sea island plantation course uh, we've picked a nice par four with water all down the left and uh, trees down the right so the type of club uh, the type of hole rather that you'd choose this type of club perhaps um, i think the idea with three wood five wood is a great choice where you've got shorter shaft than driver perhaps a bit more control and like I said this is a typical type of hole you'd want to choose it from. We're going to hit from the tee, slightly raised tee and uh, as I've already said this is a real, I think you're going to have, some of you will like the way this club looks, others won't. I think it's got a bit of marmite about it and then, like I said it's very much squashed down, very much of a flat profile. Um, and the other thing I would say which is very noticeable is the kind of offset. I said this is a draw bias club, but I just feel as though I'm sort of aiming down that left-hand side at, uh, at an address, a little bit weird. I'll see if we can record and pick up a bit of audio sound-wise um, off the club face. So, half decent strike, fairly crisp, I would say, the year off the Epic Max. Um, I think just typical Callaway, like I said, in recent iterations of these clubs, I think they've had a good sound where there's that heavy, uh, or sorry, nice mix and blend of like a powerful zip off the face, which hopefully you picked up on, but also something that's soft and responsive, gives you some feedback back in the hands. I'm going to switch over and it um, straight away into the tailor-made product. Different altogether address, like I said, a lot more raised in terms of or normal, I would say, in terms of three wood profile. It's got this great shape, and I've got to say that between the two, I'd much prefer this stud at address. Both got 60 gram shaft in these. This is a Fuji Cora, and I think we had a hazardous smoke in this, by the way. Um, but both 60 grams stiff, but yes, differences again in terms of the shafts that are in there. I just like this better at address all around, that gray line. The way the club head is squared, I don't feel it shut off to that left hand side, which I did with that Epic. So all round for me, from a visual perspective, I'd rather look down on this. And again, let's just see if we can pick up some audio. Well, I'll pull that shot a little bit down the left, but again, this is a more harsh sound. It's more of a crack off the face. I wouldn't describe it as soft. Um, so it's very much like I said, and hopefully you picked that up, it's just a crack that you hear. And I think that it was that loud there that perhaps even with the microphone pinned up on me up high, you'll still, still get to notice that difference between the two. Because you know what's coming at the end of all this? I'm going to say something like these clubs are both fantastic because the reality is when you're testing clubs right now, you're splitting, it's fine airs in terms of margins and it's about what you like and what you don't like. And all I try to highlight is the differences between these products. And then it's up to you, your personal preferences as to why you might buy one over the other. Start it up. 
Look. Right, okay, so I've hit quite a few balls to be honest with you with these. Uh, I'll throw up first of all the dispersion charts of what is the uh, collected data for the shared amount. And you'll see the reason I put this together is because there's balls all over the place and, and quite a lot have been hit. But essentially that is uh, the spread that I would expect to see from my kind of performance. We've got some leaked left, some right, but we have got a fair few down that middle as well. Um, so into data, um, I'll start with the, um, we'll start with the max product from Callaway first of all. And if I'm honest with you, pretty much what I saw in terms of my performance visually um, is bore out in the numbers. Um, 221 carry, 35 spin, 14.9 launch, 105 peak height. Um, and the, the things that are in there are the 3,500 spin, it was definitely spinning a bit. You could see that and it was kind of hovering a little bit, launching at almost 15 degrees again, quite a high launching club. And again, that peak height at 105, like I said, it was in orbit. And that was very noticeable. And then if I throw into the mix the, the, uh, the numbers for the Sim 2 um, from Taylor Made, you'll see the differences. Uh, ball speed up by sort of uh, what, almost three mile an hour. 3-1 spin, 227 carry, 13.2 launch, 92 peak height. And then that suggested overall difference is almost uh, well, it's 10 yards of difference. But these were so different in terms of how they performed um, based on launch and spin. And they were very vis visibly different. One was a flatter ball flight. So I would say at this stage, it would really depend on what you're looking for in terms of performance. The max was by far, whether it was the easiest to launch, but certainly the higher launch. And don't forget these clubs are both lofted at exactly the same um, in terms of the loft. So very different in terms of the numbers at this stage. Just like panic. the loft is the same isn't it but if i've said it wrong it doesn't matter right so as ever before we go any further uh like your feedback who is considering buying either of these models and uh maybe you've already got the chance to try them um i'd be interested in your feedback and don't forget by commenting down below your fellow golfers get to read those comments and get more of a, a better guide and a more subjective guide than just my opinion so happily throw those comments in down below another thing to mention as well because i've just noticed our little sign is uh, strategically placed in the background there uh, at four golf if you are considering buying any of these clubs any club for that matter considering joining the average golfers club which uh, i'll throw a link in the description below but the 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 simple fact is if you're thinking of buying any of those golf clubs right now you save 10 percent um off of the price simple and straightforward as that so make sure you go and check that out as well right it's time for a bit of a par 3 challenge i think right it's been a fair old uh, long day of testing actually and uh, i'm wilting a little bit and i think that's been reflective of my swings in this video but we're going to try and uh, raise it just a little bit for this last challenge we picked the 18th hole at uh, this sea island plantation course and uh, it is again typically a position where you might find yourself in par five second shot in we've got 230 you can see that is uh, quite a bit of water between uh, where i'm sat in the fairway um it's probably again i think if you're playing in a medal you'd be uh, chipping a seven iron down the fairway but for the sake of this we're going to be going 
to uh, that uh, what is effectively an island green on this line right so it's going to need very much the best dig we've got or had so far from the epic we're going to start things off right come on oh it is a really good knock you know i just don't know whether that's going to be too far down the left and not cutting back enough move ball go 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 oh how close was that 217 carry and literally coming in on the flag wow this is if we get one ball on the green in these four shots we'll have done well but that was a great start even though we ended up in the drink oh that's got to be the one that's got more yardage in it and it's a better line slightly safer line but surely come on this has got to carry carry ball don't do it again carry 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 oh my god well we've stayed above ground but they are right at the flag wow i can't believe that's come up short it's interesting throughout the whole uh, as you've seen now from the from the data it's interesting that the max product just goes into orbit probably spins a little bit too high for me and, and, and flights a bit too high and the carry just isn't quite there so based on flight and carry we've got more of a chance with the sim product but they were as good as i've got in terms of the last two strikes no that's pulled down the left try to hoik that one and that's definitely in the water that's got no cut it's got the yardage as well look at that forced it that's 223 carry right we know it's in there and we know we've got the carry you just don't need to force it like that last one come on last shot of the day can we come off with a good one yeah we could have does that cut too much now come on ball be right we've got to get one ball on this bloody green go 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 yes that is bang on 221 carry just about held on the back end and on that basis i think it demonstrated like i said throughout the video what i've seen is that uh, for whatever reason mainly based on ball flight i would say from what i've certainly seen here um the sim max 2 just has a stronger ball flight i've definitely got more in terms of yardage carry out of it and uh, that was shown again in uh, in that last test at the end i think overall you know the summary would be there are very much differences between these two products uh, they're both max in their name but in terms of what they do in uh, performance wise in my hands at least they're very very different so the old uh, story would always be go and test these things out for yourself and find out those differences in your hands right as ever thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it we're still like, finding our way with trackman and trying to make these things as entertaining as possible and now we're getting to a stage where we're allowed back out on the courses we'll integrate the on-course stuff as well so hang on in there keep commenting down below uh, keep hitting that uh, like button if indeed that's what you do and uh, keep subscribing and i will see you soon as you can see i'm a bit out of breath